CJ Peterson with the Con Hour, one of your favorite co-hosts, still here at Beaumont Comic Con. Yes. <laughs> I'm in the right place. Last week I was at Tyler Comic Con. I'm here with Mr. Corey. Hey. And he does, over here you can see the sign for the Karmic Con. What exactly is a Karmic Con? So it's a play on words. So, you know, we were at a Comic Con, but because of the beautiful cars and the rafts that are anime and Comic Con themed, mm -hmm. we call it Karmic Con. Now, you actually run that though, don't you? Yes. You, you keep them all organized and all that. How do they find you? How they find me, you can find me on Instagram uh, at karmic.com. I mean, Instagram. And then on the website, karmiccon.com. Awesome. Now, is this your car? Yes. So I own this 2020 Tesla Model 3. And then I also own the Hellcat over there. Nice. Can we take a quick look at them all sure. and you can kind of tell me a little bit about them? So, so this is a My Hero themed. Tesla. Uh -huh. um, I decided to go with Deku and Shigaraki uh -huh. fighting each other, but then there's also Toga, who's, if anybody knows anything about Toga, her powers is she transforms into the people that she loves. Oh, nice. And she's insanely obsessed with Deku. Uh -huh. So as you walk around the car, this is the part where she steals his blood to become him. She jumps on his back. She's getting ready to, to stab him, and because of that obsessive love, we have this power shape as a heart. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Yeah, and then on the other side, she's transformed into him. And they've been fighting for a while, but her power's wearing off a bit. Oh, I see. So, How brilliant is that? This is all customly drawn by a company called Fracturize uh -huh. on Instagram. Uh -huh. And he does it, he takes your ideas and he just spits it out. That's cool. Quick. Now, something unique about this is the handle. How does that thing work? Oh, you just push it in and pull it out. That is neat. It's a Take mess a right now. Quick look, that's okay. Quick look. Pretty cool. Now, the Hellcat over here, what do we have over here? Uh, this is the 2016 Dodge Hellcat. It's a manual and it's Naruto thing. It's what theme? Naruto. Naruto. Oh, got it. Yes. And that's another popular anime, one of the big threes, if you ask me. Uh -huh. And the reason why I went with this thing is because this car's been modified. The engine's been modified to be a thousand horsepower. Now, is that specifically for the Hellcat or is that you? Uh, that is specifically for me. That's my other handle. Oh, nice. Well, it's already on here then. Yeah, thank you so, so much. So, what'd you come up with this idea? What is, what's on this guy? So, it's the Nine-Tailed Fox, which is trapped inside Naruto. Naruto was a little kid. He was had trouble reading. He always thought he was like the class clown, but really, he just learned a different way. And through uh -huh. his struggle, he learned how he learned. And he became the best at everything that he did. Nice. Just through hard work and just continuing to try over and over and over again. Uh -huh. A lot of kids in school today don't realize that they may not be stupid. It's just you may not be the person that can read a book, but you will watch a movie or something yeah. and you will retain it for life. And that's just your visual learner. You just have to learn how to learn. Learn how yeah, to learn. Exactly. And that's what he did. And like I'm OCD and ADD and I've learned how to learn to work with it. Yes. Instead of fighting it, you got to learn to work with it. Yes, mm -hmm. and become the best that you can do. Exactly. You know, and that's his struggle, and that's why I went with this, and then I went with the theme because, like I said, the engine's been modified to be a thousand horsepower to the crank and nine hundred horsepower to the real wheels. That's how much we're putting down. Nice. And nine tail fox, Naruto. Nice. That's fine. So, what made you come up with the Karmic Con? Let's come over here and check this guy out. Because I, I found myself. Uh, He's cute. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, originally, I, I used to be the guy who was trying to fit in with other car clubs and other groups. And um, there's this thing called Atasha. Atasha is what most Americans would say. It's Japanese themes on Japanese cars, right? Mm -hmm. But then you have Superman cars and you have all these other themes that you see around here. Like, like G.I. Joe. Yep. Right? So I started calling them Atasha and people started to get mad at me because it's not Japanese themes on Japanese cars. But when you look at the definition of Atasha, it's just, uh, they call it just a painful car. It doesn't matter. It's, they don't specifically say it just Japanese. Has the yeah, but the way they word it is they say, in Japan, this is what they do. So we're in America. So I started, instead of retracting from people and people trying to push me away, I just started calling it American Natasha. And from that, I started doing these car shows and then Karmacon was born. Nice. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time. I yes. really appreciate you. Thank um, you. You can find this interview on the Con Hours Facebook page. All right. I'll make sure to reshare. Definitely. And once again, this is CJ Peterson, one of your favorite co hosts for the Con Hour here at Boma Comic Con. We'll see y'all soon. Yes. 
This is one of your favorite co-hosts from the Con Hour, CJ Peterson, and I'm here at Beaumont Comic Con, and look who I found. Hi, it's Tuli from the G.I. Joe car. Do you guys remember I interviewed him at Comic Palooza, and he's brought his really cool car back. Can we take another look at it and check it out? Let me tell us about your car. Okay, it is a 2018 Dodge Charger. I went with the G.I. Joe theme because I am 42, and this is what I grew up on. Nice. Can you show us around on there? Sure. Stock rims uh, with the bullet lug nuts. Nice. And you got some comics up here. I got here. some comics. I got a few figurines, uh, action figures. And I went with the two brothers. Awesome. Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. Okay, now this is a wrap, right? Yes, it's a wrap. Okay, and how long have you had this? Probably about seven months now. Seven oh, seven months, months yeah. That's it? Yeah. Seven wow. Months. And I've been making some noise with it, too. I'm sure you have. <laughs> what kind of engine is this? Uh, V8. V8. Gotta go hear me. Gotta go hear me. And how long? So you've been doing the Comic Cons with the car since then? Since then. Since then. Awesome. So where can people find you for, say, the rest of the year? Are you going to be around um, different Comic Cons? I think the next show I will do will be Autorama. Autorama in the Georgia O'Brien. Okay. And I think that's next month on the 24th through the 28th. Awesome. Now, do you ever turn the car on during the cons? No. I never do. Because it's too close. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Awesome. Well, what got you started into this? Um, I always like fast cars, but I mean, they're beautiful. I mean, you know, I just like Challengers and Chargers too. I mean, the detail, so much you could do with these cars nowadays. Now, you got some interesting scenes over here on this side. Yeah, I try to go with all three, comic book, uh, movie, and cartoon. Awesome. Cool poster to go with. And then what else we got coming around here? Some more comic books. Uh, Storm Shadow Sword from the movie. I actually did the movie premiere at um, this uh, studio movie grill in Pearland. They let me watch the movie for free. People took pictures with the cars. No way. Yeah, it was real cool. That does sound cool. Real cool. Luber Labs did the uh, Lubers. Okay, and people find you online yes. at? At Big Tooley. Big Tooley. On IG. Awesome. Well, thank you, sir. Appreciate your anytime, time. Anytime for you, C. And we'll catch you at the next one. See y'all later with another interview. I'm CJ Peterson with The Con Hour. Check it later. Hello, at Beaumont Comic Con Day 3, and I'm checking out all these really cool cars, and I just want to make sure that everybody gets a pretty good glimpse of them. So I'm talking to Mr. Marcus here, and he's going to show us his pretty cool car. Can you tell us a little bit about it? So my car is basically Mortal Kombat theme, and usually when you hear Mortal Kombat, people usually say, oh, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, mm -hmm. yada, yada. So I said, well, let me go another route with a female and then someone that I'm all most for that. People, make sure to represent. Exactly. So make sure most people don't know her, but my character is Scarlet, and most people don't know about that character because she's one of the newer ones. But the reason why I chose that character because of the blood and gore. Then it matches the color of the paint and all yep. that stuff. But what I did was I decided to go with her because if you actually... Um, we got a little bit cut off, so it reconnected. There will be a little bit of a glitch, but we're jumping back in. Yeah. So with that, if you play with her on the game, it's a lot of blood, a lot of gore. That's why I put like little blood and stuff on there. Mm -hmm. So she's actually a really cool character. So, you, obviously, you got the wrap. Got the wrap. And who did and, the wrap for you? Um, that would be Brio Auto Detailing Heights. His name is David. He does great work. Awesome. So, he did the wrap for me. He did the top. He did the finish him stuff on the back of the car. Yeah, we're going to go down here because you do something a little bit different with yours. A lot of them wrap the entire side, but you yeah. actually have, like, little kind of accents for yeah, it. Yeah, I have more accent-wise. The reason why I didn't want to do a full wrap, everyone does a full wrap. So the way I did mine was, I just started, I say, okay, I'll add trinkets instead. It just, less is more in my sense. Okay, so, now what type of car is this? This is a Charger RT Plus. Nice, and how much is under the hood? Because everybody uh, wants to know. My car is two, so my car puts out about 504 now. Nice. Yeah. So it's tuned, and I had a lot of different people put their hands on the car from... Sunday, 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 it's Monday, Monday, Monday. And we're fighting with the announcer. So, really quick, how long have you been doing this? 
I've been doing it with Comic-Con since the beginning when he started, so this will probably be year number six for me. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. And how do they find you online? Uh, online, my Instagram is Mopar Marcus. That is underscore Mopar underscore Marcus underscore. And you can follow my car club page as well. I'm a president of a car club, Kings and Queens Mopar. You can follow me on there also on Instagram. Awesome. And I did get a picture on the Instagram picture showing his handle as underscore Mopar underscore Marcus underscore. So make sure to catch him out. Um, we're trying to yell over the announcing. So. Welcome to a Comic Con. We'll catch you later with a little more interviews. This is CJ Peterson of the Con Hour. CJ Peterson for the Con Hour here at Beaumont Comic Con Day Three, and I have a special guest joining me on this interview is Todd. Todd, Todd. Wade, to be exact. Todd Wade, and we're talking to the Joker. Joker. And can you guess what his car is? It's not Batman. So <laughs> let's take a look <laughs> at it and see what we got. Show us your car. So, a part of the reasons why I'm called the Joker is because if you guys have ever heard of Persona before, this character right here is Joker. Okay. So, that makes more sense because yeah, I'm like, that, it's not I, Batman. I'm not that Joker. <laughs> this Joker. This one right here. But essentially, this is from one of my, not even one of my, my favorite game of all time called Persona. Mm -hmm. um, it's a Japanese game um, licensed by Atlas and Sega. Uh-huh. And pretty much, I wanted to have a black kind of sporty looking car, so a Camaro. It's black. It's... And since the theme of the game or the colors of the game is mostly black, red, and gray, that's okay. the majority of the Which have which good space. contrasting colors. Too. Exactly. So this is pretty much what we're going for here. Okay. For just the hood, I wanted to make sure that the main cast can all be on the hood. This is the main character, so he had to be the biggest person on the hood. Nice. Well, and he's also your favorite character. So. And he's, you know, he's me, so. So, okay. so he has Keep to going. be. What else we got? And then we have all the characters right here from the main cast. These are the two games that are here uh -huh. from Persona 5. And then? This is from Persona 3. So these are the predecessors. Not many people know about that. Persona 4 is over there. Okay. We got over there. Who are these guys? Over here, unfortunately. Say, we, I'd be afraid the window would go down and it would mess it up. Yeah, but I'm gonna just get my sponsor to give me another one for free. Yeah, so, that um, works. anyways, this, these are some of the main characters from the cast that are also on the hood. Mm -hmm. These are one of the little monsters that you could fight. This is the dark version of it. Okay. Over here, you have the main cast again. Mm -hmm. So I like to just collect a bunch of Persona stickers from the main cast, and there's different artists that have different styles, and I like to collect all the styles. Then up here. You get some of the cast again. Is this one of your daily drivers? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. I need to drive this to work. You probably get some interesting looks. I'm very popular where I'm from. <laughs> this is the light version of the monster uh -huh. that was on the other side of the car, and this is the rest of the cast again. Awesome. Now, you, you're friends with Todd, right? Oh, yes. Awesome. So, how did you guys get together? Oh, this is a. Uh, okay, so. What was it? Last year? year it was last? almost two years ago. Almost dude. two years ago, I like hosted. 2019. 2019, I hosted a uh, Halloween event, and I saw a Joker online. I saw he had like um, some cosplay photos, uh, uh -huh. and a minty, uh, minty kind of minty cosplay as well. And then I reached out, and I was like, "Hey, I love y'all to be a part of it." They had a group. The group's okay. called DXA. So I so reached out to So you're like a whole them. cosplay group too? Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, very cool. Yes. So I reached out to them. They said they were on board. Came out to the event, and from that day forward, we just been cool since then, creating yeah. content. And we actually worked with. Uh, Uzumaki SRT, Karmacon, mm -hmm. and we did a photo shoot with Naruto. He was uh, the Hokage version, and I was the Shippuden version of Naruto. So we did nice. a cosplay duet. It was, it was dope. And we've been, you know, hanging yeah. in there strong for for a minute. Very cool. Okay, so we'll do two questions. How they find you online? So myself, uh, creating cosplay content online as well as uh, comedy skits and things like that for the anime community. Mm -hmm. So. Um, they were able to find me through that, through those means, and see what I had to offer. You know, the connections and the cosplay world are yes, awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. So um, that's how they found me. Okay. Yeah. So people to find you, how can they find you specifically? Um, like your handles. Oh, Instagram, TikTok, or Twitter is at Todd underscore Way. That's T O D D underscore W A Y Y. Okay. Awesome. And how do they find you, Mr. Joker? Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, everything is pretty much right here. Jillian, J E O Y U U N. Okay, why that name? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> to be completely honest, um, this is somewhat my name in Korean, but oh, cool. 
it's not the full name. It's like I think it's Jeong Byuk or something like that, right? I, I don't I don't know. But what I wanted to do was make it to where it's something that I just have. So that so is it a nickname this. then? It's kind of like it's kind of like my full name in Korean, but like cut off. Okay. So it would be like this with only one U and a G, but I decided to add another U and take the G off. Just nice. Random, I guess. A little bit easier to pronounce. It looks kind of cool, so I just stuck with it. Now, are you only on Instagram, or else? Oh are you? no, Instagram, YouTube, um, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, everything. It's just the same as I can. Okay, cool, awesome. Well, thank you guys both for taking a little bit of time out of your day to talk to me. Um, stay tuned. I have a couple more. I have two more cars, and then a gentleman who has cars and a trucks that are like over there lighting up all over the place. So we'll catch you later. Make sure to come down here to Beaumont Comic Con. I'm CJ Peterson with the Con Hour. Talk to you. This is CJ Peterson from the Con Hour here at Beaumont Comic Con day three. And I have Mr. Miles Morales, AKA Spider-Man, and he's got a pretty cool car. Why don't you take us around this? I saw this yesterday and I really wanted to make sure to get a hold of it today. So what I did, I kind of just what I did was just kind of went through every Comic Con, every Comic Palooza, just started shopping for things and then just throwing it on the car. Also, I did a lot of uh, little, little shopping for myself to see because you can see I got a little Spider Man knife right here I found on Amazon. A little Spidey. I got a little Spider Heads. There's a lot of D little details on yeah, this one. Yeah, a lot of details. This not, one's cool. Yeah, did a lot of much, not much to it, trying to still act, trying to grow with it. Uh -huh. But trying to more so just make it pop out, at least, at least make it stand out a little bit more. Have you seen Sam Delarosa over there? Yes. Mr. Yes, I actually have one of, one of his actually uh, comics. See. Oh, look, he's cute. Yeah. I got, actually just got his comic yesterday when I saw him when I walked past his booth. I was like, I have to get that comic book. Signed by Mr. Sam Delarosa himself, who is also here at Belmont Comic Con. Okay, so let's get back to your car. How long have you been doing this? Uh, There's just like this, all these little details. This is awesome. I actually had this car. This is actually my second year. Um, kind of just wanted to pay off the car. At least most of the majority of the payments for the car first. And then start throwing things onto it. That's a little small rear uh, quarter panel details. Got the wheels. I uh, got all the people actually, or websites where I actually got all of my... Uh, all the things I put onto the car, where mod effects, where I actually got it from. Got Did you paint this? Uh, no, that's actually the decal. Um, it's, just a, it's just a spider web decal for the tail lights, for the chargers. Uh -huh. uh, so is this your first show? or? Uh, this is actually my first show here in Beaumont. Okay. My third car show for this year. Nice. So do you have any more for the rest of the year? Um, not completely <laughs> sure if there's actually is any more. Um, uh, well, I do know there is one more coming out next weekend. Okay. Uh, it's going to be supporting the G.I. Joe. Okay. That his, uh, hey, that we've his, already interviewed Mr. Big Tully himself, if you're watching. Hey. But he uh, he has a uh, working at a veterans hospital yep. coming up next weekend. So we're going to actually help go out there, help him out, support him for his oh, job. Oh, how that fun. Done. Awesome. Well, how can people find you online? Uh, you can type in Miles Mopar Morales. It's going to be me. Uh, you're going to see the uh, Spider-Man posting up in front of the car that's always just going to be me awesome well give him a follow in the meantime we'll catch you later with a few more interviews like i said there's one over there that has two vehicles we're gonna go check out see you later this is cj peterson for the con hour here at beaumont comic con well, this is cj peterson from the con hour one of your favorite co-hosts here we are on day three of beaumont comic con now i met I, I'm nicknaming him Bruce the Wayne. <laughs> Bruce the Wayne yesterday, and he has a super cool car we want to tell you about. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yes. And all the ins and outs of it. And just so you know, these are not real. I wish well, they were. Well, maybe. <laughs> um, so this is my 2021 Dodge Charger Hellcat Red Eye. Um, had it for since January. Can't remember. Very long. Since January, um, I've wrapped it in Joker. Of course. Let's take uh, a, a look around. Starting here with the custom plates. Mm -hmm. They are real. They're not oh. fake. Yes. Nice. Um, custom Joker that I got from Comic Con Lapuza. Nice. Along with uh, someone sponsored me and gave me the Joker frame. Uh, same guy sponsored me this. Nice. Um, 
Okay, so let's look at the wrap itself. Now we get to take a peek in? Yes, definitely. So, um... A little dark, but you can get the um, idea. Yes, so if they want to see the lights, I can turn the lights on for them. Inside? Yes. No way. Turn on. Yes. Uh, let's get that going. Alright, let me turn the car on. Actually, 1100 stars with the Joker in the back, of course. I know. I'm trying to see if I can get the Joker. There we go. That's awesome. So, what else do we have around the outside? Um, it's four Joker faces. You have three going in one direction. Uh, the ha ha's. And then you have the Joker oh, going you get the in a Star different Wars direction. Theme in the background. Gotta love Comic Cons. <laughs> Yeah, in the background. So, <laughs> I took uh, So I you said you've, you've, been, do, you've been doing this for six months? Uh, since January. Oh, since January. Yes. So, how can people find you online? I got the... Yes. Are you only on Instagram? Uh, no, Facebook, uh, Bruce Gilmore. Okay. And Mr. Gold Mode on Snapchat and on um, TikTok. Awesome. Well... And, uh, one more, one more okay. bit. But why it's so serious? It's a little dirty, but uh, the why it's so serious? Nice. Well. Hey, this is CJ Peterson of the Connor here at Beaumont Comic Con Day Three, and I'm here with Mr. Isaac Ramos, who actually does not have one car. He has two vehicles. One's a truck and one's a car. Let's check them out. So you show us first to the truck. Definitely. How's it going, guys? So this is a 2018 F-150, uh, completely wrapped with the Mortal Kombat. Uh, movie theme. Uh, Joe Solis from Image Graphics was the one that designed all the cool lights, all these images and everything before the movie even came out. Oh, Warner no Brothers actually reached out and was like, "Hey, that's pretty dope." All the actors were uh, talking to us. Uh, he incorporated all the uh, the realms for each one of the characters. Uh -huh. He actually made uh, the images of the lightning and the hands that weren't even there. It is, this truck has just been uh, going viral like crazy since the movie came out. It's been a bunch of fun. Yep, now we had at Comic Conroe, Chris Casamasa and, oh, he's gonna be very mad at me for not remembering the other one. His, his alter person. Oh, uh, See, now you're with I me. I can't remember right now. Can't off the top of my head. Too many Comic Cons. Anyway, they were at Comic Con Rose, so we got to see them and meet them. And then, besides all the images being different on both sides of the vehicle, he even did the tail bed and the uh, the tail lights to where he incorporated the logos of the movie. Oh, I don't know if we can see it on there. Yeah, we can. So these are like holographic. And then all the other actors. Very cool. Awesome. Now he also has a cool car over here. Tell us about it. So this one is a 2015 Hyundai Genesis Coupe that will actually be at SEMA next year. Nice. Uh, one so, of one, everything sneak peek. Uh, headlights, taillights, underglow, all the lighting was built by uh, John Ortega from Marine Customs. The wraps. Gotta done. love it. I'll just close this. The wraps were done by Joe Solis from Image Graphics as well. He also designed everything. He actually took my tattoo and made it 3D on the top part of the car. It's a tribute for law enforcement and military veterans. Uh, Love it. Goes around uh, show to show to generate uh, funds for fallen officers that were killed on duty for their family members, as well as uh, military members, PTSD. It's just, it's made to help donations go towards the organizations that need them. Very nice. Now, how long have you been doing this with my vehicles? Uh, I started in 2017. Uh, that's where I formed my car club, Exalted Royalty. And I started getting like-minded people such as myself to basically build a, a, a team that can help fundraise money for organizations out there. Nice. And that's what we do. And okay. we do all our own work. Now, how can people find you online? 
Um, you can go to my Instagram. It's uh, American Gen. That's M E R I C A N G E N. Uh, and then through there, there's links in my bio. You can just send me a DM, and I'll respond to everyone. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. Well, I appreciate your Love time. Love both thank vehicles. You. Thank you, man. Because then I'm probably going to get in trouble with. Hey, y'all. This is CJP. From my Comic Con. And certainly, last but not least, is. Oni and this is Shigo Mero on Instagram. Oni and this is Shigo Mero. Can you take us around your car, what it is, how it looks, how long it took you to do it, sort of things? Um, this is a 2018 Camaro V6. Um, brand new, probably about five day old. Uh, it was designed by Neo on Instagram, but I just I uh, told him what I wanted in design. Instagram car crew called the Akaski Car Clan on Instagram. We're very diverse and we believe in equality, so we like to get a bunch of weaves together who love anime and cartoons and comic books and all in one and just enjoy each other. Cars well, I'm all and for hills. the female being represented, so exactly. I need to go find her. <laughs> Most definitely, just little funny, funny stuff here and there. You know, especially for tail people who love to ride the back of your bumper. Exactly. So kind of. Now, know, is this so your daily driver? This is the daily driver. Oh, nice. So you yes, drive what kind of? Around in this. People, br people's necks almost start breaking. Um, <laughs> yeah, so the graphics are very well done. Thank you. They got little anime stickers here and there, and um, 